that you start looking at things that are working right now because I'm telling you, you've only got about 30 to 60 days and I'm gonna average it out at about 45. This market's hot right now. And so today, I want you to focus on social media. Specifically, we're looking at Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and I don't want to confuse you anymore. Let's keep it to those three. Now, just like I talked to you about this two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I think I talk about this all the time. You really need to take the time to go deep into social media. I want you to just use these three and not get confused and go all in, which is Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Let me break it down for you exactly how to do this. Number one, Facebook. Why is the number one most visited social media site in the world? Got over 2 billion users a month. And more importantly, people are spending an hour and 15 minutes on this thing daily on average. I mean, some people are spending a lot more time on this. Now, we talked about posting. We talked about using that stay method that I created, right? If you forgot about it, let me know. I'll send it over to you. I put it up on YouTube. Posting routinely, posting at least once a day throughout the week and alternating it between, you know, you and your business and then your hobbies, right? That's easy. The other things are a little more difficult. And here's where we get into the nitty gritty. Referral groups. As, as a team, our team, locally, we use the referrals group a lot. And we get about one serious referral every two months. And at the price range we're at, just for being in a free referral group, to me, that's insane. You have to really look into referral groups and how you can stand out. But you have to make it part of your routine. Right, there are a ton of referral groups out there. LabCode Agents has got the biggest one, but there are other ones. There are Keller Williams specific. There are other company specific ones. Look into which ones you can join and turn on the notifications so that every time a referral goes up, you know about it. And as you start getting engaged and making friends, other people will start referring people to you or tagging you on certain posts. Referral groups is really important. The next part to this is community groups. There are groups inside of Facebook that you can belong to that are local. So for instance, there are groups in Malibu, there are groups in Westlake, there are groups in Newbury Park, and it even goes deeper into track homes or neighborhoods. Those are the ones that I'm talking about. And if you want to go a different route, maybe join like a kayaking group or a mom's group or a group that stands for something specifically, I highly suggest it as well. What happens is people start asking for, hey, does anybody know a real estate agent? Or, hey, I'm thinking of selling my home. And that's where you strike. And you also contribute. Now, when I'm talking about Facebook, you have to contribute. It just can't be something that you're stalking people on. You have to take time to post in these communities and take time to tag people and engage with people. It's, it's part of your job. It's part of your business plan. But as you start doing this, this can be really rewarding really quick. And then the last part of Facebook is you've got to pay to play, which we talked about this yesterday with Facebook lead ads or regular Facebook posts that are business oriented. If you're with Keller Williams, you've got Keller Williams Command, and you can certainly do those Facebook lead ads that are about a dollar a lead, which is insane to me. But you've got to put money behind it, and you have to have systems in place to be able to take advantage of that. Right now, more than ever, this is working. People are paying attention. More people are online than ever before. And this whole recovery of our country through COVID, what looked like it was going to be a V is probably going to be more like a W, right? It shot down, shot back up. Now it may shoot back down and it may shoot back up later. So these are the things I'm telling you to do online, specifically on social. Next, Instagram. It's the number two most visited social media platform in the world. What do you do? Now we've been through this before, but I'm going to highlight the things that I need you to do. 
Number one, you look at posting to your feed. The feed is that regular thing you scroll through with a picture or a video or, or a quote or something along those lines. That's the feed. Now, there's also the stories section. And I would, I would argue with a lot of people that stories are even more valuable to post to than the regular feed. And if you're wondering, well, what's the difference between stories or, or feed? I have a YouTube video on that. It's about 20 minutes long, goes deep into Instagram. If you need it, text me or, or, or shoot me an email and I'll send it over to you. Now, posting is important, but then again, you have to decide to go all in and say, well, how many times am I going to post or what am I going to do? Here, it's easy. It's, it's an easy thing to remember here. One post to your feed and four stories a day. But Tristan, what the hell? I don't have enough time to do this. I'm like, well, do you do anything through the day? I'm like, yeah. Well, tell people what you're doing. And that's part of the stories. You see, the stories is you're taking people through your day. You're taking people through the process of what you're doing. Right? Like for, for now, I could pick up my phone and just do a story on me talking really quick. Next, if I'm eating, if I'm with my dogs, if I'm with a client, if I'm showing a property, whatever. It's so easy to do this. It just has to be part of your process. And some of us are reluctant to, to, to really go into that next step with, with social media, but I'm telling you, nobody cares. And for those that do care, that are watching you, those are the ones that are paying attention those are the ones that you cater to. The rest of the people, who cares, right? And make sure that you're using the right hashtags. Uh, people are, are always asking, well, where do, I, where do I go to get hashtags? I use an app called Hashtag Expert. I just type in the word, whatever word I'm going to be specifically talking about. Let's say I'm eating that day, I'm eating, and I just ordered food from wherever. Then I'm gonna use the simple word in that app going to be called food or eating out and it's going to give me the rest of the hashtags that I should be using and then I just copy paste it pretty easy now let's go into LinkedIn LinkedIn is a little bit more of of that ugly stepchild that I was talking about yesterday and that's because a lot of people aren't really deep into LinkedIn but LinkedIn LinkedIn is the number one professional based social media platform. It's the place that you're not going to get a lot of people trolling you. You're not going to get a lot of people complaining. People go to it to usually check out your profile to see who you are, what your job is, because that's what people are looking for in LinkedIn. People go there to find jobs, to connect with other professionals. And so when you're posting to LinkedIn, You've got to think, well, let, let's tell people about my business. Here's where I tell people about my awards, tell people about my listings, tell people about my business. And this is where I inspire people through video or through posts. That's how you look at LinkedIn. And if you want to take it to another step, well, LinkedIn has this thing called Sales Navigator. And they charge about $75 a month for it. It's a LinkedIn product and, and Microsoft owns a LinkedIn. So they're trying to go deeper on this, but check this out. Listen to this. LinkedIn has this thing called sales navigator and it allows you to reverse prospect exactly who you're targeting or who you're reaching through LinkedIn. And I'll give you an example of what we've done with it over the last three years. Let's say you want to target doctors, only doctors, and only doctors that work in a certain area, and only doctors that work in a certain area that have five years experience or more. Well, LinkedIn allows you to narrow down that search so that you find those doctors that have been in the business of being a doctor for five years, and only in the vicinity. You can do that with anything, any job. You can do that with firemen. You can do that with nurses. You can do that with executives. And see, what happens is if you're in a certain area and you've helped a group of these people before, you can then automate this process so that a message goes out to them and say, hey, doctors, 
I noticed that we live in the same area and I've helped out some of your friends. Let's just connect. As soon as they connect with you, then you can say, hey, doctors, I've got a special offer that's helping you, doctors, specifically. This is the deal and whatever that deal is. Now, LinkedIn can be super powerful, but you've got to go all in again and say, well, how do I use this? How do I do this? And that's why there's YouTube. Look, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, but I may not go deep into the explanation with you, but you can always Google how to work LinkedIn Sales Navigator and take it an extra step further. But these are things that people don't usually use that are extremely powerful in the ability to be able to do this. You can't do this on Facebook. You can't do this on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, anywhere. It's only on LinkedIn. And the fact that people, professional people, are on LinkedIn, chances are they have a job and they're making money. And so it makes it even more valuable, right? But then you wouldn't know that if you don't go deep into it. Now, some people also use this to connect with other real estate agents across the nation, across the world, or to create networks. And I highly suggest that as well. But those are the three that I want you to focus on over the next 30 days. And if it's too much for you, pick one, but do it daily, either Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Thanks again. Please subscribe, click that little bell, and do me a favor, have an amazing day.